tasty for some of these skirmishes. It really is. And also, because oh, of that brawl block in, could be a little bit more influential in a potential double AD comp. However, last second swap out, SK locking the Ziggs, going to put that in the bottom lane. So I've been really, like, couldn't really get the damage that he needed off onto Hexy Kick. Peach, though, spots out Marcoon, but I'm not really sure there's much they can do about it. There's a big wave there, and Marcoon's starting to walk out. All right, Odo may be the first one to arrive. Marcoon does get bopped and uses the, the scuttle crab to get a little bit of safety. Back up finally from Certus and it's Excel that get first blood. Punishing Marku. A hop, a skip, a jump over the wall, and Certus gets one back for SK. Interrupted on the retreat and he's low on mana. Limit will be able to arrive to the fray as well, but not in time to save Peach. Certus will be forced to flash finally over the wall. Being chased down by Odo who hops and uses those boomerangs to get the hyper and a two for two early on. The thing is though Marcoon was still getting a lot of the experience that was coming through from that the camp so you're still kind of getting a little bit messy here where Peach has lost all of his top quadrant apart from the Grump whereas when you look at Poppy she can still enter into bot side. Marcoon though sticking around that little bit too long nice job by Peach to wrap around to get in behind and then just getting those procs off to finish off Marcoon but Certis jumps forward then gets the auto to get another reset so he's over the wall and this is where Certis was like all right I'm gonna peace out but Almost. The fact that he got stuck kind of helps out Excel right, in a way, so... He ended up, but didn't, didn't you then with the two kills secured, we're back into fighting. Aerial Evans going to use the slice and dice to get to safety. Marcoon's trying to help out as Oduwami hops over the head of the crocodile. That's another kill secured for Excel. Marcoon flashes forward to get another in reply. Odo's with the hunt, he's got two though. under his belt and with blue and red buff on his champion. No, that will be an easy one to secure it. 3-0 for the top lane. For some of these aggressive plays on bot side and interrupt SK setting up for Rift Herald. Okay, setting up timing wise, how do they play it out? Seven. Ooh, Marcoon Hex flashes over the wall. Limit and Peach step forward. That Glacial Prism will not lock anybody down. Keeper's Verdict sends only Limit away. Kill secured by X. So much more difficult for XL. That 13 or 1400 gold lead. It's already a great start. That's the stun secured onto Odo. Mega Nod's just about to time. He uses the ultimate, flashes and throws out the boomerang. Peach will arrive to the fight momentarily. That's a flash of the wall for Doss. Commits the pop on the head and kills secured. Play. Hex flashes over the wall. The ultimate is available. Where does the verdict get fired? Odo being run down and We'll use that now by a couple extra seconds. Teleport's committed from both sides. Peach now joins the fight. And will they be able to pick up Abba? No vision, I think they don't actually know he's there. Abba's gonna step into the bush and Marcoon gets shot in the face with that accelerated shot block. Peach commits forward with the assault. Dredge line from Doss manages to buy some time. And with that prison going just a little wide, Marcoon survives. Irrelevance TP in once again behind the teams. Mega Inferno Bomb tagging up Peach. Now it's Irrelevant fighting two as Peach is taken down by Certus. Looking to hop forward at that rocket jump. Abba's on 200, but they can't get the range. They can't get close enough. The bomb does it. Another for Certus. Thank you. I take some of that gold. And again, then Irrelevant managing to get in behind them to keep this play rolling. SK are working. Oh, here a big we go. Damage boost and DOS looking to hex flash over the wall. Marcoon's got his own. Flash available and the ultimate starts to wind up the poppy copter and doesn't fire it yet. Tower secured the moment it falls. Marcoon's over and stuns up Peach right into the wall. Another kill secured from Certus and he's going to use that rocket jump going all the way forward. The engage in the killer instinct and Patrick will get the shot down, find himself the kill. Doss needs backup, Doss needs help. Exit kicks trying to use the satchel in. Keeper's verdict will kick away Patrick for now and a three on one. Upper target fires back with a shot block. Another flash of the wall, Exekit gets another. Now all the bouncing bomb goes over Patrick's head and he's gonna be able to shut down Exekit. Seven kills to 10. More time before his ultimate is available, as does Marcoon. SK committed, five members inside the pit. Odo's coming from the top lane and it's looking to turn, looking to burn, and that's a dead brawl in the river. Prison will catch Ever Relevant for now. He's jumping onto Patrick. The Mega Inferno Bomb doesn't really do a lot. It forces Exile to split up. Dredge line connects onto the mid laner. Pop backwards with the satchel. Where's the damage follow up? It takes time. They need the space. Bouncing Bomb will just force them back. It can also clear waves. It can also give you some push if you need to use it that way. Combine that with three teleports on the side of SK. And they have a wide variety of options. We can actually start to take some of these towers for ourselves. So they actually should get mid lane here. Might, won't have the people in position to look for these. I mean, Exile in there very oh, early. Oh, oh. Keeper's Verdict will kick two away. 
Back up from SK, slowly moving it. Peach has still got the smite available. And in the smite fight, it's picked up by SK. XL are locked behind the wall and they get themselves a kill to boot. But that Dragon, but they haven't reset. They've greeted too much in the map. And SK look to punish. Even X kick TPing up to the top side there to make sure you get Terra here with Patrick and River. And it's going to be a case of now what do SK want to set the focus on? Teleports as well. Limits and Abadagi as well as Peach are here for now. 2,000 hit points. It's low. 17 under the tower. It's secured already. But smite down. But that will be at the cost of uh, DOS's life. SK just completely burned down the objective. Stunning me, confusing me entirely. And they get out. I mean, they Do just they? know how quickly to burn it down. Unfortunately, didn't retreat quickly enough. Peach will throw the ultimate out and catch another kill. That's two barons removed. The engage from the killer instinct is there. Surtis jumped on hammer four from Amadage. 22 kills in 21 minutes. Three in a skirmish. Surtis will at least reply. Use that E to take down this mid in a turret. It's one for one. Surtis should be able to escape with his life. The rest of SK committing onto the two members of XL. Death Charge thrown out. Odo on they pulled back. Meganor is primed and up. Here comes Patrick with the killer instinct, but it's too little. It's a little too late. Surtis is now fighting himself. Two members of XL. The towers bring pressure. Then the inhibitor in the bottom lane. And that's going to be a dead Surtis, dead mid laner at the cost of potentially this inhibitor. Recalls are now coming in. And SK will give up that mid laner for the objectives and for that bottom lane push. And you're more than happy is that if you're SK. So you get kill for kill, but also... Back away, they've got supers in the bottom lane. And I'm just scratching my head at this game. It has completely surprised me from minute one. From the team that I thought was going to be aggressive early. Looks like they might be able to do. Uh, Satchel charge, I think, a little bit early. Peach still needs about 30 seconds for his ulti. One throws that down. Tower finally taken. Limit by some time going. Golden and Surges is incredibly low. Odo one is not gonna be met by Odo. He's in Meganar now, a little bit tired. Gonna be t uh, not that full power for the fight. Limit is the first target, and Relevance already joining from behind. But the damage is on to Marku. He's the first victim followed up by Limit. Odo one finally joins in. SK on retreat. Exit kick is low, and Surges is forced away. All of a sudden, there's a fight on two fronts. Dos will get run down by Odo one who's charging. Like water help Patrick and make him out of the the entire fight, but instead they try to get onto the limits, who's too tanky, and now SK trying to look for the steal. I don't think they have anything. I don't think so either. Exit Kick's got no ultimate available. Gonna be very risky if he tries to use that Q. And just, it is uh, definitely our League of Legends. I mean, it's very interesting to watch. Uh, just so you're aware, the game that had the most kills this summer was 44 chanting. Oh, 20 seconds to Dragon. This feels like the, the coffin is being sealed. It's calculated. And SK, they're struggling. And remember, if anybody is low enough for the execution, the engage power from Patrick is huge. Mega Inferno Bomb tags up at least Patrick. Dos by some time irrelevant. Had a long range TP. Flashes into the fight, trying to stay alive long enough. Dos's Dredge Bomb won't find anything. And Odo gets a gigantic shield. There's a blast in those Void Missiles. Inhibitor turret will fall. Mid Inhibitor is down. Marcoon's looking for something. Can't find the engage. And just, it's, it's starting to feel desperate here. SK, where do they find the opportunity? Where do they pull the trigger? They've done it so many times over the last 30 minutes, they have to do it again. Satchel charge onto limit. Dagda, I think another inhibitor's going down. Yeah, Otto's now stepping forward. He's gonna be waking up here as he comes out of that exhaustion, trying to see if he can get onto SK, but it's just not gonna be the case. You don't have that ultimate from Exekick, which is so much of his damage. And then as well, Zertis just can't get through this front line alone. The members are just too tanky. Because indeed, and his Peach caught out. Ultimate is still on cooldown. Number of members trying to force him out. Finally, they find the kill. Still down two inhibitor back. May need to use that teleport. Marcoon's caught out by a Brawl Multi. Forced to flash his safety. Patrick's killer instinct forward and limit. Trying to buy some time. Look at the burst damage onto Surtis. Melee range with the guy said he gets punished for it. Bring the hammer down from Abadage. Two quick kills, and that might be game number one in the bag. SK are running for their lives. Exit kick, DOS and Irrelevant need to do something magical as the super minions are pouring into the base. Keep an eye on that poke damage. Keep an eye on those shock blasts. Irrelevant is pinned against the wall and taken out once again. Make it Furnable on buys a couple of seconds of time, but it's two members against five. The minion towers are dropping. The towers are falling. And XL need a little bit more time without those minions in the base. The armor is boosted, of course, on that tower. So a couple seconds more. Eight for Marcoon. He's got the Keeper's Verdict. I don't think there's enough time. Nexus turn falls. The Nexus is being burnt down and focused. It's finally over. XL 
win game one. We're seeing so some kind of mid laner that can have pressure. The Akali 2 for fighting uh, a little bit later uh, is going to have that flank angle for SK to look for. Yeah, Surge seems like the guy that whenever there's a blind us here, he is wants to yep. Akali. He, he wants back. back. But let's see if he can at least get some gank going in this top side. And one is the first target once again. Held in place, knocked back, and stunned as well. Relevant picks up a clean. Trying to keep control of the bottom side. They got control over mid. And this is exactly what XL wants. Slow pace the game. They can play for dragons, play for scaling. And then just look for those. Torching onto the tower. Relevant, I don't think he knows there's so many members around. Gets caught with the dredge line. He's already sliced. He's looking for the dice and he's taken out. But... Yeah, as the wave is now pushing for yet another tower secured by SK. I think XL are kind of misunderstanding what they need to be doing right now. They should be trying to slow down more. So they've kind of leaned down more towards, hey, can we get a Relevant going on something like a Jax? Can we get Certus going on something like an Akali and see if we can play side lanes a little bit better? Under some threat. He's still got the Flash available to him. Dragon is secured and Certus is able to back away this middle tower. And then you'll wait Pondalani in. Peach is coming from behind. He's going to be a little cautious. Devis. Exile committing towards top lane tower. They've kind of been fishing. Belt has been fired. Baron down to 6,000. Keeper's verdict gets rid of Peach for now. Patrick tries to rocket jump to safety, and the Empress Divide sets the line once again. Surtis manages to find the kill onto Abadage. But Patrick is able to escape for now. Maku looking to run him down. And Exekick holding off what looks like three members of Excel. All of a sudden, Irrelevant is knocked back, and Patrick versus Marcoon and Surtis. Keep your eyes on Exekick on the left. Is he's trying to find Limit, trying to find Odo. But they're just diving onto the back line. Patrick caught out as well. Baron secured, SK win the fight. This. Full Dominus, got that Q down. And SK now have got a gigantic advantage. Third Dragon. You can see Abadang in the top side, so Zeratus in mid. SK just gonna try and keep up this pressure so they can keep going for these tier two. He's sticking for now. And Irrelevant with that teleport available, he's starting to back. Will shop and looks to defend the top lane. Tower secured for SK. The fifth of the game unlocked for them. And they are facing down Peach and Abadaga. No one else from Exile is around. Abadaga's got no ultimate available to him. No flash available to him. Doss is over the wall as well. The boss code buys another little bit of time. But Abba is killed by SK. The tension is now turning on to Oduwabne, who is run down by the Bash duos of Certus and Irrelevant. And Limit is the next target. They managed to punish the hiding. Especially if they kill Abadage. And now SK, they've still got a little bit of this Baron buff left, and they should be able to move in towards the towers. Pushing in both top and middle lane. It's 20 seconds for Odo, 13 seconds for Abadage. Patrick already forced to use that rocket jump to safety. Peach trying to buy time with the ulti, but he's being run down by multiple members of SK, using that gate to get out of range. The Shuriken's finally dropping him. Limit is up, Abadaga is now coming forward. Inhibitor will fall, and SK have taken some poke damage. And Irrelevant is not exactly the most important target. Sand Soul just fired forward, Dredge Line catches onto Doss. No flash for him, no ulti either. Surtis re-engages, he's looking for the kill to Limit, and will find it, but it is at the cost of Exekick's life. Now Surtis looking for another one to Patrick, dashes forward, perfect execution is unavailable, goes gold and he gets the double! He pulls it off perfectly! Executing XL inside their base. It's now Odo Wombe versus four. Another inhibitor will fall. And Odo is so low, he needs to heal up. He cannot stand toe to toe with everybody on SK's side. SK will even out the series, make a statement, the composition. And they now just turn their attention to the Nexus. Peach is back up. It'll take just a couple seconds. And with that verdict, we are going to game number three. Excel tried to play for the really crystal arrows that are coming through, so it is going to be the Ezreal taking it to the bottom side of the map. So I think kind of looking at this, although Excel have decent setups, say for LeBlanc being able to play side lanes, they are edging as well, so they know where Peach is. He's only going to be coming into the spot, so it's Marcoon's trying to get in ahead. And it's got no flash available to him. He's caught out by the Sejuani as well as the Nautilus. And first blood goes to more wiggle room to land those Force of Wills and scatter the weeks. Marcoon again looking to jump onto Odo. Got that Hex Flash, immediately does so, and that's a stun connecting Odo taking hills and objectives going the way of SK. And once we got to the first big team fights, a couple of key members to come up. Enchanted Crystal Arrow is available for Patrick. Surtis coming from behind, flanking with his team. Ash Arrow connects, the follow-up is good. 
And they turn away from the Herald. Great play. You look at bot side. Hexagix is like, oh no, DOS. Ooh, the engage from Peach gets away from the dredge line at least. Unleash power does some scans as well. Wilbur locked stun up multiple members. And so does the Counter-Strike. That's Limit left for dead. Nesco not done yet. Flash available for DOS if he needs it. Manages to catch out with the minion that actually was thrown forward by Certus. But SK punish Exile and find themselves. Take the majority of the wave mid, so that's still fine. Certus might catch him as well, actually. But Dark has got that flash, got that distortion, is stunned up, is scattered, is taken down by Certus. But it's also the fact that Abadage, because he tried to clear the, the midway or the river ward, is actually going to be late on the reset here. So SK, they're going to move to irrelevant either. Nature's Grasp should be pretty good. Forces the flash and still gets tagged just on the tip. Engage once more and Certus will go down. Kill should be secured by Abadaga. The first of the game for him. And so much control on the map despite the fact that XL got that play on bottom side. This is still going to be SK favorite. It is and I think uh, importantly this time around, seven plays to six. Much more uh, balanced than game number two. What I would like to see from XL is uh, a couple of different plays from the playbook. In is there for Patrick. Keep your eyes on it. When does he fire? Relevant is starting to recall. I think they may just be conceding this uh, dragon, but Marcoon stepped a little too far forward. He is focused and he is shut oh, the down. Is now well. Relevant is TPing into the river after a member of his team has already died. He does get poked some damage, but is able to leap away to safety. Rest of Exile looking for another target. Dredge line from DOS goes forward, but there's just not enough damage to take down Oda One Day. Unfortunately for them, Peach sticks around in the jungle for too long. He is dropped. Abba's trying to find the angles, but he's only got really that static shift for now. I definitely think I have a little bit more uh, concern for what a Poppy could do than maybe this Jax. However, in the side lane like we're seeing yeah. now, <laughs> this is the way around. I, mean, I think um, for Exile, I need to get some more gold to both Patrick and Abadage. He is, in fact, Peach with the biggest advantage, player versus player. Limit is the first focus here. The tower stays alive just a few moments longer. One for one. Make that a second as the tower now falls. Peach is being chased down as Abadagas got the mobility. He's looking for Certus and Odo's chasing with him. Exit kick and irrelevant a little too far away. At the end of the day, it's two for two, but the towers have fallen in the middle lane. And Odo Wombe is now being pushed back. Exit kick and irrelevant can take a second tower after this team fight. And Odo's going to be interrupted from that Poppy W. Odo's looking for to find some success on the back, but on the top end of the map. Right, another attempt there onto uh, Certus, who's trying to defend the top. For the moment, looks like that might be in the bot side here against the Relevant. The question is, how do they deal with this Jax in the side lane? The answer right now is 2v1. And I'm just going to throw down that Grandmaster. He's jumped on by Abadaga, rooted in place. And this is just a beautifully played 2v1. Eventually, more support comes in. The kill goes to Abadaga. He's 4 1 and 2. He's got himself that Night Harvester as well, and with 30 seconds to Dragon, that's nearly perfect timing to at least gain control of the area. They find another kill, that's at least another engage onto Doss, who is shut down where he stands. Or XL. SK Fancy, they don't want this fight, they back out, despite potentially thinking about it. From base, no TP, he so used it just a moment ago. Abadag is hopping over the wall, trying to be a nuisance and distraction. That's the engage from Odo. He's managed to find Margoon, but it's all of a sudden the scat of the weak and the unleashed power that finds the kill onto Patrick. But Abadag still remains mostly healthy, mostly alive. He tag up at least there onto Exa Kick, but XL do not want to engage. It would have been a four versus five, and they're allowing a couple steps ahead of SK in the bigger picture, the macro game. And we talked about this being break, but Peach needs to run. Once again, the target, a little bit disconnected from the rest of the team. Many members of SK should be able to run him down. Can XL do anything in reply? Limit, has got the quickness, has found the engage. Abadage jumps forward, but that's a second kill secured by SK. Exit Kick will be able to use that E to get away from the Enchanted Crystal Arrow. Not tagged behind the pit, in front of the pit. Abadage needs to get through that Banshee's Veil. Dredge Line connects onto Limit, who runs away for his life. Prison's thrown out. Nature's Grasp is much better than the Sedge Ultimate. And all of a sudden, it's Exile on the offensive. They've got themselves one already. Relevant's running for his life, and Exit Kick has got the long range. Use the Unleashed Power. The members of Exile still keeping that Baron aggro. Relevant needs to find the stun, needs to find the CC. But Patrick, as well as Abadage, are still relatively healthy. They can keep poking and prodding. That's Exit Kick chunked out to 30%. Irrelevant's finally found Abadage, but now on the reply. Oduwame is looking and finding Exa Kick. The Baron's about to fall in favor of XL. But SK are relying on Irrelevant. He's got too many members to deal with. It's XL finding kills. SK can't really step up to the pit. The second that they do, that's when XL actually bursts it out, turn onto the fight. And again, Odo just managing to slowly whittle, or sorry, to finish off the slow whittling that Abadage has been doing.
is incredible. Now the ult. Ashero connects, but that was fairly well buffered. Unfortunately, there's too many members of XL close by. Makun throws out the ulti and it doesn't do enough. The Nature's Grasp is zoning away and held Surtis just in place, or popped his Banshees rather, for Patrick to find another. Three members are down. Baron empowered minions are pouring into the base. And XL are on the verge of securing the series, securing the win, and keeping the dream alive. Yeah, they'll be able to continue pushing forward. There's no minions at the moment, though, but they're still going to keep hunting. Odo really wants to get this. The kind of minion is the only thing that's left alive. Odo Wamne and XL, the journey this year has been a while. And as the Nexus turrets are falling, XL are going to be one step away from the season finals. With this win, they guarantee a minimum of third. If they win one more BO5, they go to season finals, the road to Montpellier. For a team that